Hello my friends, it's Connor again. So, I'm still so backed up on YouTube videos. I finally, after two months, posted another video. I have two more videos that need to be edited. Everything's kind of confusing and out of order, but the last video I posted was one that I was posting for someone, um, but that would also be helpful to other people. And so I wanted to get that one up right away instead of focusing on the one I filmed before that, which is ne next on my list to post. And then, um, then I'm gonna post the one I filmed on the same day as the first one I just posted. It's too confusing. I've got more videos that are coming. That's, that's all we need to know. So, this is the first time in my YouTube videos you will see me with my new blonde hair. This is funny because in the past three videos I filmed, I was talking about how my hair wasn't how it's supposed to be. It's still not. I usually gel it up, but I'm a lazy ass some days. So, this is not how my hair looks either. It's okay. So today, I was not going to make another video until I posted the other two, but today something came up that made me feel the need to make a video, including it and an overall topic that I suppose is involved in. So today, I'm going to talk about definitions and labels, different labels that people in the LGBT community use, and the different definitions of those labels. Because I find that a lot of people use certain labels in a way that doesn't really match up with the definitions. Now, this video is not meant to be offensive. It's not meant to tell you that you can't use that label or that what you're using that label for is wrong. I'm going to go over the definitions and it might sound like I'm saying what you're doing is wrong, but if you're comfortable using that label, then use it. It doesn't matter what the definition says. I'm making this video just because I have noticed a lot of people using two things together that I don't think go together. But if that's what makes you comfortable, then fuck what I say. Do it. I want you to do what makes you comfortable. This video is not here to criticize you or to offend you. I'm just here to go over definitions and talk about what they mean and talk about how different people use things. That's it. That's my disclaimer for this video. So please do not get offended. In the end, in the end of this video, I'm going to talk about exactly what I just said, why you should use whatever label you want and not listen to what people like me say about this. So we're going to get into some very normal LGBT terms, but first we're going to talk about something that came up on my Instagram today that I was very upset about. So I saw this post about pedosexuality and I was like, okay, no. <laughs> so it, I have a big sheet here that has tons of different definitions of all kinds of different um, labels. So pedophilia is claim, and now this is stuff from online, so if you if this offends you, I'm so sorry. But pedophilia is a psychiatric disorder in which an adult has sexual feelings directed towards children. I'm sorry, but that is illegal, that is wrong, and frankly, that is gross. And if you support that, then please get off my YouTube, please get off my Instagram, because I don't support that, and I will not. The act of pedophilia, a pedophile sexually touching a child, is molestation, it's rape, it's illegal, it scars that poor child for life, it is wrong. I will not support that. I cannot support that. I just can't. So, pedophilia, as I said, is a psychiatric disorder in which an adult has sexual feelings directed towards a child, or children in general. Now, pedosexuality, I looked up because they were saying now that it's part of the LGBT community and that that's a sexuality. I looked that up and pedosexuality is sexual activity between an adult and a child. That is not asexuality. A sexuality is a way that someone describes what gender they're attracted to or what genitals are attracted to. Children are not a gender. Children are not a type of genital, so therefore, pedosexuality cannot be a sexuality. It just can't, by definition. So I wanted to, you know, go over that. And I was talking to somebody on there who was, like, sticking up for pedosexuality, and I was just like, this is, I mean, it's just wrong. And come to find that they had confused pedosexuality with a sexual fetish, such as Little Space or Daddy Daddy, daddy, daddy Little da da Daddy Dom little boy, daddy Dom little girl, etc. Some kind of fetish where 
in a relationship someone is acting as a, a child or like little space it can be a fetish or it can just be something one person by themselves has where they sometimes like to feel like a child like to act like a child etc and there's nothing wrong with that you know i might not have that fetish i might not understand it but there is nothing at all wrong with that kind of fetish so if you have that fetish and you like that then do you that's all i'm gonna say about that but i wanted to go over that because pedophilia is not a sexuality there is no such thing as pedosexuality as a sexuality only as an action of sexual activity between adult and a young child that's all that is it's not a sexuality it's not part of the lgbt community it never will be if you support that bye bye so I just needed to go over that because that was just very upsetting and I feel like the reason this poor person was confused is because a lot of people just don't understand the definition of different labels and what different things mean and so I wanted to make this video to hopefully try and explain things. So we're going to move on from that topic now that we've got that done. We're going to go through some very basic labels. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to be careful with my words I'm gonna be try I'm gonna I can't speak today I'm gonna try not to be offensive to anyone and if I am I'm sorry I do not mean to be uh, again I'm gonna disclaim again in the end that I don't want you to change your label because of what I say if you're comfortable with your label then use it I just want to go over the correct definitions just so everyone knows so first I'm going to talk about different trans labels and the reason i go like this is because there's there's a whole umbrella and there's just it's, it's it gets really confusing but i'm gonna go over just what i you know see as the general trans labels so there's transgender transsexual and transmasculine now i also want to go over one other thing gender dysphoria i recently went to um Okay, I'm going to post this video after I post the other because I explained what happened, but I went to Virginia and I had this consultation, etc, etc. And he explained that gender dysphoria is the feeling that you, that your internal sense of gender is not your, your biological sex. So like me, my biological sex is female, but I identify and I in the inside feel like I'm a male. So I have gender dysphoria. Someone who's biologically a male and identifies as non-binary they have gender dysphoria because they don't identify with the gender that, that they were, you know, the gender they were given at birth because they have some kind of disconnect where they don't feel right about it. It gives them dysphoria. So anyone who, who their gen, anyone who has a situation where their gender gives them dysphoria is gender dysphoric. Transgender is not the feeling where your gender doesn't match up. That is gender dysphoria. Transgender is when someone has gender dysphoria and then chooses to go from one gender to the other and this is where i wanted to go over something i see a lot of people identifying as transgender like i see a lot of people saying i'm agender transgender or i'm non-binary transgender and if that's what makes you comfortable then i'm not going to tell you to stop but i just want to explain that that's actually from a factual standpoint that is incorrect and i'm not saying to not do it if that makes you comfortable then do it I, this is where I'm gonna try really hard not to be offensive but this is where we're gonna go into some definitions so the definition of gender dysphoria is a feeling that one's gender is not their birth sex I just talked about that it can be anyone non-binary gender fluid transgender it can be anyone it can be agender anyone who has those feelings here's the definition of transgender so trans if we break it down the root trans means a cross and it is referring to the binary of male and female so transgender means either going from male to female or from female to male transgender is not by definition if you want it to be it can be whatever you want it to but by definition transgender is not going from female to agender or going from male to gender fluid that is not what transgender is transgender is female to male or male to female and that is why you know transgender people are either ftm or mtf i do see a lot of people using agender and transgender or non-binary and transgender together and by definition it's incorrect if that is something you feel comfortable if you're comfortable using those two labels together then do that be you don't change it 
I'm not saying it's wrong to do it that way. I'm just saying by definition, it's not correct. I just want to look at the definitions. Now, you might be asking, well, what if I am agender, but I'm taking hormones, I'm taking testosterone? Well, there is something called transmasculine. Transmasculine is using hormones or surgery to become masculine, but not identifying as a male or a female. So someone who is agender, but was born biologically female, but wants to be masculine, might take hormones to become more masculine, but still identify as agender. So that person would be agender transmasculine, not transgender. Transgender is changing from one gender to the other. Transmasculine is physically transforming the body to be more masculine as someone who doesn't identify as a male, or, or it could even be someone who, <laughs> it's complicated, because there is the opposite way, trans feminine. There, there's that definition too, but I actually have not seen anyone who fits that definition. I'm sure they are out there, but I have not personally seen that. So then, transsexual, transsexual, let me find the definition, I wanna be correct, is someone who has undergone sex reassignment surgery of the genitals to become the opposite gender. So, someone that, like me, I'm transgender. I'm not transsexual because I have not had bottom surgery. I want bottom surgery, but I will not be considered transsexual until I've had bottom surgery. Now, there are a lot of people who have had top surgery and they call themselves transsexual. And whereas that is not correct by definition, that is okay. If they're comfortable calling themselves that and that's the label they like, then that's okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Again, I'm not here to tell anyone that they're wrong or fake or something. You are whatever you want to be and if your label makes you comfortable, it doesn't matter if the definition doesn't really match you. I just want to explain the definitions. So, another label that can often fit into there and some people like to be in the trans umbrella as this is a cross-dresser. A cross-dresser is someone who dresses as the opposite sex, but is comfortable in the one sex that they identify as. So for instance, I identify as a male. If I wore a dress, I would be cross-dressing. I would be dressing as a female, even though I'm a male. Or like a cisgender female. If there's a, cis a cisgender female that likes to wear male clothing, but identifies as a female and is happy as a female, then that would be cross-dressing. I think that's a, a pretty simple one to understand. So just to recap, Transgender is going from male to female, female to male. Transmasculine is taking hormones or possibly having, you know, top surgery to become more masculine. And transsexual is actually having bottom surgery to become the opposite sex on the outside. Now, there is a question, you know, someone who's agender who has bottom surgery, what does that make them? I mean, honestly, it's up to what they want to identify as. If they want to identify as transsexual, they're going to identify as transsexual. Even if, you know, that might not be correct definition, it's what they want to identify as. They could still just be transmasculine. It just depends because that kind of falls in between the categories. And honestly, even though I'm going over definitions and what's correct and not, I want everyone to identify as whatever makes them happy. So, moving on. I uh, just wanted to go over a couple more things. So agender is, by definition, someone that does not identify with a gender. They don't identify as male, they don't, ident they don't identify as female, they don't identify as non-binary, they don't identify as gender fluid, they identify as having no gender at all whatsoever. And that is why I have a bit of a problem when I see people saying that they're agender, transgender because that's actually not possible by definition. Agender is no gender, transgender is going from one gender to the other. Transgender means you have a gender and agender means you don't. So those two don't really fit together and that's why I have a little bit of a problem when I see it. But if those are two terms that you identify as together and you're comfortable, then you do you. I'm not gonna tell you to stop. Now, non-binary is something that confused me for a long time because I think people interpret it in different ways, but I looked up the definition and non-binary means to be not binary. So let's just go over binary means to be male or female in the male or female, male, female gender range, I don't know. So non-binary therefore means not male or female, something else. So examples of non-binary could be, I wrote a list somewhere, 
could be gender fluid, bigender, trigender, demigender, gender, oh, I already said gender fluid, huh? Anything that is outside of the spectrum of gender. Now, a lot of people use that in different ways. Like some people say, I'm a non-binary male. And to me, I don't know how that works because of the definition that doesn't make sense, but if that's what they're comfortable with, I'm gonna let them be them. Another term is genderqueer, and genderqueer and non-binary by definition mean the same thing. Gender queer is just gender identities that are not exclusively masculine or feminine. Non-binary is not male or female. So in a way that's basically the same thing without going into details, but it's all up to people, it's all up to what they're comfortable with. Some people are comfortable with non-binary, some people are comfortable with gender queer, some people like different terms altogether. So I just wanted to go over the definitions because I just sometimes see people using definitions together and I wonder if they know, or definitely, I see people using labels together and I wonder if they know what the actual definitions for those labels are because put together they don't make sense to me. But here's my last disclaimer. All of this crap right here doesn't mean anything. What actually means something is your comfort. So if you're comfortable being an agender, transgender individual, then that's you. You be comfortable, you take that definition, you take that label to your own definition. I'm not here to tell you what to do, I'm not here to tell you what to say or how to identify. I'm just here right now to give a little bit of education on labels and their definitions. So just as a last disclaimer, you be you, you identify as what you want to identify as, even if it doesn't make sense. All that matters is that you're comfortable. So thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time.